Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the team. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so there it is, the early takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was gonna try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just now. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. Oh! Good series. Oh! 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 Back to the feet. It's a big knee. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big left hook there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Visibly limping here. Big kick land. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Big ball. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. and a great performance by this young man. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Well, there will be no shot in that spot. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Take down and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the... Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the head to lift his opponent onto his hip to and chase this his might finish. just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Well done now, For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard, so advance to half. Try to build posture, but if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked.
might just be a matter of time. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got to squeeze up. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy won the submission. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Assassin! All right, so there he is, all smiles and right... takedown defense. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Jacase. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Whoa! What a fantastic oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout. Near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But... Don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 47 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Bonfisher. So the celebration is on with him and his... takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got offended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? That was a cutting leg kick. 
takedown defense holds up. Miller range down. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground to Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle, he finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Back up again. Oh, that's a big hook there. Knee to the body. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. He's giving him so many different things right now. Back and forth we go. Round two winding down. While well, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five. Sit down. Take a deep breath. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, round two. Nice kick. Look at him top of the wood. Chop the with those leg kicks. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, big shot, man. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Trademark inside leg kick there by Matthews. Oh, master of the transition. Nice scramble. Right hand upstairs. You can really limit the mobility of your arm with those leg kicks. And they separate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Matthews gets caught with that punch. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Matthews gets back up again. Nicely done. Beautiful body kiss. Just out of range with that left hook. Not there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice punch by Miller. Stuffs the takedown. Oh, big knee! Back to the feet. Get my hit. Huge shots there. Oh, big left. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase take oh, All right, stack guard here, DC. The feet are on the hip. That'll do it! That's it! It's over! It's over! Wow, an 
unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jake the Count Kick Pin Matthews. Well, he's smiling ear to ear and what? locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. This guy's throwing early. Ooh, knee. big knee. knee. hurt him. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Good punch. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice elbow. Volkov getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Volkov gets pounded here on the ground. The elbow there doing the damage. That is it. That is it. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the warrior. And there is the man of the moment. And They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it before it hurt very bad. Oh, is that a big knee in the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He 
told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down now. Masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high punch. Oh! He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or am no, I read my last run? Absolutely runs? not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hard. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Alexander the Mauler, Gustafsson. Well, we can grab... Transitions to the takedown. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice strike landed there by Jacques A. Souza. Oh, inside kick. The left punch is true. Now the right hand. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in Seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most... Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Next. 
All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and receive. All right, here we go with round two. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Nice punch land over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right hand on point. There's the shot, there's the takedown by Shaka Sosa there. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Jocko gets up. He is back on the feet here. Huge. He landed it perfectly. Perfect place. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent to getting the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He gotta go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Oh, nice punch there by Sosa. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. An uppercut later. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm. Found wow, he actually got the take now. Gets up again here, but Hurton punch over the top. Liver kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Shakade Sosa there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Sousa's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Jocko. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Ten minutes in the books. Underway. Shotko gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well done to block that powerful kick to the block. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Single power tie now. Oh, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, I can't think of a worse place in the world to be when you are tired than the world-famous octagon. We've got two fighters who are nearly all. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Back to the feet now. Oh, shot to the body. Oh! Well, missed on that one. Just over three minutes to go in round three. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. Take them down. Shotko gets back up again. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Shakane Sosa. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed since... Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in the fight. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Wow! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result, and a huge buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by... So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout. Ready. These guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper. And also, in every performance we have seen to put on, these guys... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Start looking to finish now because he's got it so it hurt very bad. Shot to the body here, blocked by Till. Oh! Looked like it did stop a little bit. Oh! My goodness. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Beautiful punch. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Oh, Darren Till with style points there. Man, every time this guy lands DC, you're hearing the oohs and the ahs from the crowd. Circling away towards the left now. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, oh no surprise. He gets the tip down there. Over and over again. He attacks, he secures, and on we go. Great punch landing with so much power. Real quick leg kick. Pretty good kicks there by Darren Till. Hook. Till's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Ten seconds to go in round one. Looked like that left hand found the target. Action by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether it's what. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. 
near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he threw it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest at 12 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Darren You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. It's hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Nice. Down. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedown, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. But again, lands with the right. Just over three minutes now to go. So just over 20 total strikes. Great job by him to get the takedown there. He did a good job of setting up his attack, securing it, and getting the desired result. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Anderson. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Whoa, whoa, over the top. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course, he mixed it up, he went high when his opponent got him going low, and now he's got hurt very badly. Oh! Big knee to the body! Final seconds of round one. And both guys really flowing with authority. Great one, so All right, here we go with the start of round two. Johnny Walker and Corey Anderson. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. <laughs> Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Anderson's low. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Big knee. Oh, 
Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could. Has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. These are unofficial, but 61 total strikes have landed for Corey Anderson. And landing with 58% accuracy against Johnny Walker. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there. Oh, just digs his body. He shot with every part of himself. And now he's got his opponent hurt. Look at him drive his shin and his opponent's body with that body. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he's got a strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. up into the target. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the key at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Bottom fighter trying to control posture on him. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked. Three, 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 three. Relax, you okay? All right, get some water. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, one got through that kick. Was That's as good as he's thrown off. The punch that lands out the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food. Oh! Oh, that's a big Wow. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his quick entry here? Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God. He switched him off to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. And there comes the separation now. And look at that one body shot. Dude. That shows the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. So now. Nice. Oh, what a shot to the body. Is he going on that yet? He's trying to keep it to poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Oh! Oh! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. I mean, just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You could see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and New Undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Corey Ready.
are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Green. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch to the body. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. That one's not him. Nice strike. Oh. Big hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here, and I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Green. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. That knee might have landed there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this one. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, yeah, right in. Still nice body to the land. Oh, and he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him. Great balance, great awareness, move the head back inside, turn that double into a single. Strong, he got away from his opponent. Great job. What a punch. Takedown defense holds up. 30 seconds now to go in round one. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And that one certainly found the target. Whoa! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bobby King Lee. All right, so there he is, the newly minted UFC 